Sleepy Hollow, 1999 release. One of the very few versions of the Legend of Sleepy Hollow that's a, a, a theatrical version. Most of the releases of this story uh, have been released uh, for like TV, and obviously Disney. the one that I yeah the one that I remember is a Disney cartoon. The yeah. Ichabod Crane that I remember is a cartoon, the big nose, the big ears. Mm-hmm. Now, that's the Ichabod Crane that I remember. But in 99, Tim Burton uh, directed this uh, supernatural horror detective movie called Sleepy Hollow that kind of changed the story. But didn't it start his relationship off with Johnny Depp? No. No, they had oh, already done he, he, They had already done Edward Scissorhands. And Edward. Oh, that's right. My bad. And then a- after this, it started off them doing every single movie together. <laughs> hey, let's not bring up all those other movies. <laughs> yeah, why not? What, what's wrong with Sweeney Todd? <laughs> no, Sweeney Todd is good. I like Sweeney Todd. That is what's, a good one, actually. What's so, wrong with Enter Movie Here? Okay, good. Uh, no, but you have the, the, there's small changes. What well, so the movies? The movie's about a New York constable, uh, Ichabod Crane. He gets tasked to go up upstate to a small town to solve uh, a string of murders a be- beheadings and he's a man of science so he doesn't believe uh he, he's a man of science so they want him they send him up to try to solve this and obviously he the first thing he he does is he doesn't he doesn't believe in the supernatural but throughout the course of this movie he has to confront the supernatural and uh i think this movie is very still to this day i rewatched it last night and it's still very well done it's a very well done um movie very moody yeah the the cinematography is really good very it's a very beautiful looking movie and it's a and it's interesting how you take a a a simple a, a simple story or a different story because ichabod crane in the original story he's a he's a school teacher He's a school teacher that he's in love with Katrina. He asks her to marry him. She de- she denies him. He's heartbroken. He he gets scared by Braun and they make fun of him. That's kind of the story of Sleepy Hollow, right? The legend of Sleepy Hollow, the headless horseman. That's what everyone knows, the headless horseman. But yeah. in this movie they made him a smart detective, a detective surgeon um he does autopsies. He does Art all rub. kinds of stuff. Yeah, he does all kinds. He does everything. You know, he's, he's everything got, in he's this got, town. He's got, he's got hobbies. He's got hobbies. He's got hobbies. He's I mean, you know, you, know, could, you know, could something, you know, like uh, see some there, notify, uh, like see an arm here, leg there, you know, <laughs> uh, just, you know, have sex with a corpse. You know, that's what he does. That's just what he does. WTF to that. But I, I like how this movie kind of unravels the, the story from him showing up and all the pieces that come together. I mean, you get Pal- you get okay, you get a bunch of different actors. You get Palpatine, mm-hmm. you get Alfred, right? You get um you get uh Dumbledore, you get uh he who shall not be named from Beetlejuice. Who Jeffrey Jones? <laughs> Jeffrey Jones. <laughs> and interesting, you get him in a reverend role. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, but he was sleeping with the with Lady with, Van uh, Tassel. Lady Lady Van Tassel. Uh, you get Christopher Walken, even, even, uh, yeah, he has no real words into like, he, he doesn't speak, he doesn't speak, he doesn't, what, yeah. real words until what, he doesn't speak anything until he, put, until he puts his That's, head on. Hey, I'm a Christopher <laughs> Walken. That's all he says. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Um, but no, he, he doesn't say anything, but yet he's menacing. You get, you know what, you, you do get a, a sort of Star Wars reunion because the person who played the, Headless Horseman oh, yeah. and did all Darth the stunts Maul. is Darth Maul. Yeah. Right? You get Darth Maul. You Ray get Park? a Star Trek. Ray, Ray Park, yeah. You get Ray Park do all to do all the st- to do all do all the stunts. Um yeah, because you, you, do- you can't put what Christopher Walken on a horse. Well he is on a horse. Yeah. Well he didn't really yeah, he does. He didn't know how to ride a horse before he started the movie, but but he he rides a horse. Um but when he runs, he still runs Christopher Walken. It's like you see him do the Christopher Walken run. It's like it's <laughs> when you watch him run. Yeah, I all I hear is a weapon of choice. Uh but no, he uh he really it, it, Tim Burton really a, did a really t- Tim Burton really did a, a a good job with the story and changing it up and and adding something different. And the fact that a lot of uh, majority 
of this movie is practical effects. Yeah. And this is this movie came out in that year where they called they called 1999 the year where all the best movies came out. Every, that was a year where the movies were the best. I don't know. That's, that's a ballsy. Uh, that's you know. e- everyone. What, look at all the movies that came out in '99. No, almost agree. every, almost I mean, every every movie that year was a banger, right? And it's a movie people still talk. Movies that people still talk about and people still enjoy. But this movie, what got me is the fact that they use majority of practical effects, right? There are some CGI, but majority is practical and. and uh, still hold up by the way and they look really good yeah the the beheadings they're not they're not they're not cgi they're practical effects and they're really well done uh the acting in this 1999 brought us uh at first sight (laughs) three to tango (laughs) crazy in alabama bangers (laughs) bangers the 13th floor Oh, drive me crazy! That's a, that's a banger. Uh, <laughs> the Virgin Suicides, anywhere but here. Oh, Austin Powers, Austin Powers, The Matrix, Tarzan, <laughs> the Star of, Wars, The, the, the Sixth Sense. Shut up, Star Wars, The Sixth Sense, uh, 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 Toy Story Two, Big Daddy, The Mummy, The Blair Witch. Ten things not, about did you. you just say the varsity, Blair varsity Blues? The <laughs> best is, movie uh, of that uh, year, I, Blast from the Past. American Pie, uh, Office Space. There's movies. There's the majority majority of like, and if you go month for month, I that banger. year had that movie had a whole bunch. That year had a whole bunch of good movies. Yeah, I mean, that yeah, year you, had you, a whole bunch of movies. You can't beat uh, Teaching Mrs. Tingle. That you can't. That's a good movie. I have a Jawbreaker. A good movie. That that one had uh, Marilyn Manson. Eyes wide shut. <laughs> Stanley Stanley Kubrick's last movie. Should've keep to keep bringing it up. I'll, I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell you if they're good or not. So shut up. You're mm-hmm. you're you're trying you're trying to give me a list of bad movies, but nonetheless, we're talking about. Sorry, that took forever. Sleepy Hollow, that? Sleepy Great, Ma- Big Mama Jahamba. Uh, you End you have day. Schwarzenegger against the devil. What more do you want? I need you to come. All here. right, it's enough. That's enough. Dave. So so you so you so Sleepy Hollow. You get you get this like gothic horror supernatural detective, like ad- like adventure. You get. What I liked about, especially with Johnny Depp's portrayal of Ichabod Crane, is it's it feels like a mix. Like he threw in very Disney-like qualities of Ichabod Crane, right? Very, very scared, even though it's in the book. But he, he to me, embodied kind of what the cartoon Ichabod Crane was. Kind of scared, little, uh, like, even though he was smart, he still had his moments where he was scared and Not a real he hero. was timid. Yeah, yeah he, he, but... At the end of the day, even in the movie, he says, "All right, cool. I got over it. Let's move on." I I enjoy I, I on this watch when I saw it last night. I'm like, I forgot how good this movie looked and how well paced it was and how how great the special effects were. It's a I good mystery. I have one issue. The issue is that uh, that whole dream sequences that he, he keeps having the flashbacks of his of his mom. Mm-hmm. Like it makes no sense to me. Like, what was the point of all that? All he all it does is just to tell a story that his mom was killed by the dad because of which uh, for witchcraft. That's it. But that was the only reason that what that was in there is because that was Tim Burton's wife or girlfriend at the time, right? Vampira. Oh, yeah. He put her in the movie. Oh, uh, was it? Was yeah, she? he was he was dating her or she was married to him or something like that. Uh, see, he now, always now Beetlejuice Beetlejuice makes sense. Why? I mean, because uh, the whole uh, Monica Bellucci. I mean, he no does that, in the he, movie. He's done it every movie. Every every girl you stood. Eva Green, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, Helena, the Helena Bottom, Helena Bottom Carter. Yeah, then uh, that that uh, the one that was in the in the Batman movies, Kim Basinger. No, uh, so, Michael like, Keaton. In, in part two, she's and Christopher she announced, Walken. I forgot what her name was. Uh, My Michelle Pfeiffer. So it's it's some shit. Katie Holmes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just that, that year reminds me of Lake Placid. So and boys don't cry. All right, uh. Yeah, what was it saying? Oh, the the <laughs> the one that was, the one that wore the half of Joker mask. No, uh, that wasn't she. Wasn't she? Wasn't she married to um to Mick uh, Mick Jagger? I don't know. Regardless, he Tim Burton. That that's the reason. That's the that's the reason why I, I saw. Like I I I looked it up after. So I was like that didn't fit the movie, but it made sense after. Like he puts in the women he dates 
or the woman he's the woman he's married with, he puts him in the movies, mm. right? He puts him in the movie for a reason. Like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I don't think Dolores, Dolor, Dolores. Yeah, he, I think he was married, but Dolores, the Dol- the Dolores, the character has no has no reason. There's, there's no real purpose for her in the movie, and she's in it, and there's no real reason to put Monica Bellucci in it because he's dating Monica Bellucci, right? And that's the same thing in this in this uh, Sleepy Hollow is he put va- va- uh, Vampira in to put her in to put her in the movie because. That was his. That was his partner at the time. Goyle. Yeah, uh, but not, none, nonetheless, that that didn't take me out of the movie because it kind of no, it doesn't. Linked, but that's what I'm saying. It linked. It kind of linked a little bit. But what I did, what I will say though, is that in the dream sequence, when he touches the seat and and you know, and he gets the, the spikes, the like the spikes in his hand. That's when he was a little kid. Why, when he's an adult, he looks. Why is he bleeding? It doesn't make sense. He probably picks at it a lot. Yeah, it's just scabbed his wound here because he's like. Well, hands are itchy. Look at me. Uh, uh. So, and then, uh, so, but I, I, I did like the movie. The only thing is that I, I wish they would have gotten an older actress to play the love interest because yeah, no Christ, the street, Christina Ricci was like eighteen, and then 18, like, 19, Johnny, like De- Johnny Depp was like thirty-five at the time, and I you can tell she, happened. she looked really, yeah, he was thirty-five, and you can tell like in her face that she looked really, really young. No matter how much makeup they put on her. Yeah, she still looked like she was a child, which is weird because weren't they in a movie together when she was like really young? Who, Ricci and uh, Depp? Deep, 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 deep. Were they? What what movie was it? Mermaids? No, that was that was Cher. Yeah, it was Mermaids. She was a mermaid. Mermaid. Oh, see, I knew, I knew that made sense. Is Mermados? The... She was nine in Mermaids. I mean, at least it wasn't. At least it wasn't the vampire. Uh, was it? Oh. Inter interview with the vampire where they kiss in the mouth. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Kirsten Dunst and, and was it Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt, little peck on the che- peck in the mouth. I don't. I, and uh, in this right, movie, right. yeah, in this movie, they Rice. don't. Rice that. In this movie, they don't. They don't actually. They don't actually kiss. She kisses him on the cheek. Yeah, the whole movie. And that's 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 it's a love interest, but yet that's that's the, that's what they do. And I'm glad they did that. But it's uh, I wish maybe they could have. And then if they would have gotten one on the writer, it would have been one of those. Uh, they just did Edward Scissorhands together. They just did this that um, it might have been. I might have been too much. But that was my only thing is like it kind of you can tell she looked like a child. She yeah. looked very young. And compared to compared to his his age, he he wasn't as young as she was. But nonetheless, I still think the movie is is enjoyable. It's I I had fun with it, and it holds up for the Halloween season. You're gonna see this on being played on TV a lot, and it's one of those movies where I think you could still pick up, watch, and you you could watch this. You could still watch the Disney cartoon one. You can watch the stories. Again, there has not been another version of the Legend of Sleepy Hollow in theatrical and, and it's version of this. This movie has done well enough where you just don't need to do too much of it. No, no one's going to focus on it because it's it's not a big story. But they just because this movie is usually not that big of a story because it's not that big of a story. What the hell did you just say? The uh, they extended it more in this, uh, to make this movie and it came out well. Like don't don't fuck with it. Just leave it yeah. alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Most but people. you know they always do that with other movies. Oh, give it time. Well, give it time. Enough people yeah. say, "Hey, you know, you just don't mess with it." Oh, they're gonna mess with it. If yeah, if you keep saying it, it's like saying that uh, Beetlejuice three times. It's 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 you say it, it's gonna happen. Probably, it's gonna happen. but <laughs> it's Candyman, really. But whatever. If you've seen uh, Sleepy Hollow, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, I like uh, it. and don't forget to like and subscribe. And on that note, this has been Vinny, Zazie, and and we'll see you guys next time.